Hey everybody, I'm taking a walk around Lund, Sweden. I just filmed some garden colonies behind that hedgerow right there. They're like garden plots where people had these little cute cottages and fruit trees and flowers and vegetables and it's pretty magical. So when I wake up in the morning, I like to take a walk uh, around the colonies and do a little filming. I'll show you later what it looks like in there. And as I'm walking, I'm thinking about my process and beginnings, how I'm starting each day differently here in Sweden than I would back home. Because I'm six hours ahead now, and it's been pretty difficult for me to adjust to the time zone changes. Uh, going to bed at 8 or 9 p.m. Swedish time, waking up at 5.30 a.m. or 6 a.m. Swedish time, and often working with clients who are nine hours different via time zone. I've got a couple people in the West Coast, some in the Rockies, many in the East Coast, some in Europe. So I'm constantly bouncing around time zones to keep up communication and also to keep my uh, habits and schedule going. So my mornings, what am I doing? I find myself in a foreign house, not mine, uh, I don't have access to the things that normally empower me, the routines and the tools that I normally employ. Um, so I'm trying to find ways to engage and to ground myself in the world around me as quickly as I can. Because if I don't, I'll just sit and spin. So. Uh, number one, food and drink. Uh, I've been having a hard time staying hydrated. So I've now created the habit of, when I don't know what to do, drink something. Uh, when I don't know what to do, eat something, piece of fruit, etc. Make a smoothie. Um, and then what is the next thing? I don't know what to do, find your clothes. Put them on. Walk out the door. I'm in a foreign country. Where do I go? It doesn't matter. It's all new. It's all novel. Go explore it. Uh, which is what I did today. I got up, had some water, had some fruit. Now going for a walk. And it's really kind of settled me in. Uh, rather than just sitting in a strange apartment in a strange city. Uh, and not knowing how to proceed. So... It's really important when things change, especially when your environment changes, whether you're on vacation or you just moved, uh, whatever the situation is, to ground yourself as quickly as you can in some kind of physical task that's about taking care of your body and your well-being. You come first. So on the planes back and forth to Ireland from Sweden and uh, coming here from the United States, they often say in multiple languages now, make sure to put your oxygen mask on first before assisting someone else with theirs. And how that applies here is that I've got a body and a conscious present awareness, and then I've got a virtual simulated character in here called my identity. And it's constantly predicting the future. It's constantly judging and assessing and calculating and evaluating so that it can predict the outcome of steps that I take. And those predictions are most often wrong or inappropriately uh, scaled, meaning that the data that's coming in is skewed. It's data that doesn't actually represent the physical world or the social world. It's an imagined world inside my head and that imagined world was created when I was very young. Uh, it's also uh, been skewed by my own personal genetics. I'm a highly sensitive, very shy, uh, very introverted person by nature. So my inner imaginary world is not the world that I actually inhabit. So I've got this sense of self, which is this character in the story of my life, in this imagined simulation of how my life is going, 
Uh, when somebody asks you a question, hey, tell me about yourself. You tell them this imagined story called your life. Um, you don't tell them what you're doing right now in this present moment. Uh, well, I'm in a room with you and you're asking me a question and I, I noticed that I had too much carrot and hummus at the buffet over there and I'm kind of feeling that right now. No, we tell them about our life story. And it's not really truly the story of our life, it's curated, uh, it's cherry-picked. We construct a story that makes sense to us as an identity so that it feels consistent. We are a consistent character flowing through time. Um, so back to the oxygen mask. Bear with me. Put on your body's oxygen mask, your present being, before you put on the mask of your identity. Because your identity really doesn't need a mask. But most people try to step as an identity, or we'll call it will, for the sake of this video. And when you try to step as a will, willing in Swedish, by the way, it means wanting. So when the Swedes say they want something, they say, ja vil. Um, so will and want, same thing. I will it into existence. I want it to happen. When you step as this will, you need will power. There has to be enough power in the will in order for it to manifest a physical step. So this is what motivation and inspiration is all about. Trying to rev up the will so that it feels strong enough to compete with the imagined day or the imagined step, the imagined experience that it's going to have. So it's trying to get enough power so that it can imagine itself successful in the step in the imagined story rather than being a body awake and aware realizing i don't need a will to take a step my feet are doing the walking right now my hand is gesticulating over here and i'm not telling it to as a will it's part of my natural physical emotional expression but it is not a willed activity so we have full access to our consciousness, to our body, to stepping, to engaging outside of this virtual character that I will call the will. I don't need to be inspired to walk out the door. I just need to let my body lean in that direction and it'll happen. I don't need to be motivated to go for a run. I just need to point myself towards my running shoes and whatever I'm going to wear. So when we put our body's oxygen mask on first and we say what fills up the body what's going to make this day feel more empowering well water piece of fruit and a walk or a run and now suddenly my day feels better or should i say i feel better right now in this present state in my body in my being and I don't even need an identity or a will right now. It's not a necessary tool, so it lost its blood supply. I'm not walking around trying to find the motivation to keep the story going. And what is the story? Tim Van Orden, elite masters runner. He's got to run a particular time at this particular race. No, I'm not out here trying to write my story. I'm just out here. Now, my body is changing because I'm out here. My body is changing because I'm empowered and I'm consistent in my engagement. And because of that, my results will continue to be good. But the moment I try to use my will, it's always going to find a reason not to step. Like, for instance, it was raining today, earlier. Uh, and I got out very early. This is my second outing of the day. I got out very early, uh, much earlier than I normally would, and I just went for a run. Because I had to? No. But uh, I just wanted to get out there. There was a moment when it wasn't raining, and it felt like, yeah, let, let's go out there. And if it starts raining, that's okay, because we're already moving. 
it's so much easier to be in the rain if you're already moving when it starts raining. A little bit harder to get yourself into a rainy environment. Uh, so I took advantage of that, but it didn't require will. Just looked out the window and saw that it hadn't started raining yet. That was it. And suddenly my body was pulled towards getting out there. It was excited. Uh, but it wasn't part of the story of Tim Van Orden needing to get a run in in order to compete at a certain level. There was no identity present. And there's no identity now. There's just curiosity about these Swedish homes and their designs like this. Interesting. Design rather modern. Uh, sort of works. I prefer the old brick style. Uh, these are not great examples of the old brick. This one's a little nicer. It's got a fun gate. It almost looks like an old farmhouse you'd see. That's fun. Anyway, so put your physical embodied oxygen mask on first. What do I need in this present moment to feel good? Not what is my to-do list? What do I need to do in the story? What do I need to do in this construct called the day? The day doesn't exist outside of the story. There's just here and now. So what would happen if we made here and now feel a little bit better? What if we empowered here and now so that willpower wasn't necessary? What if we did that multiple times a day, every day? How many things would we accomplish in the world without needing to tell a story about it? I don't know. I'll see you soon.